Hey everyone, today we're going to go over that gospel hymn, Must Jesus Bear the Cross Alone? Now this is on page 27 of book number 3, and this music was written by George Nelson Allen, and the original lyrics were written by Thomas Shepard in 1844. The song was uh, first released by the Wiseman Sextet in 1923, and it's since been recorded by Sam Cooke, Tennessee Ernie Ford, and the Soul Stirrers, and so many others. So let's get started. I play this song in the key of G. However, if G is too low or too high for you, then slide the cable around to find a key that fits your voice. The time signature is 3-4 time, like a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. And the tempo can be a fast or slow, depending on, on which version you listen to. I play it in the slower version from um, 70 to 76 beats per minute. The strum pattern is a simple down strum on the bass note and then down and up strum on the chord the whole time using the chords in a walking bass line, like a down, 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 up, one, two, three, and type of strum pattern. And make sure you add those leading bass notes and land back on the strum pattern like this. <laughs> Now when you're moving around with that, this is real simple, just... Okay? Real simple. <clears throat> so let's talk about the intro and the breaks and the ending. So for the intro, there's really not much going on, just the three G, uh, just the uh, the G D and the G back to that. So uh, you're just gonna go one two three one. Two, three, one two three. Okay, and start there. For the uh, and if you're gonna put any breaks in the middle of it, uh, make it substantial because just a simple one like that. Uh, although it's very doable to put a little a little break in there in between to uh, create some contrast, you can also put a whole verse in there uh, and, and maybe play off of that. Because the song is quite short, there's only three verses, it would be good to put a, a break in there if possible, possibly after the second verse, and then come back in with the third verse and end it. Okay. And for the ending, you'll just want to repeat what the intro does. <laughs> Then 
This song is very familiar to Precious Lord Take My Hand and was an influence in, uh, in the writer's uh, writing of the song. So try not to get confused with that song. Just keep this one really simple and you'll be fine. Hey, thank you for watching and hopefully subscribing if this was helpful to you. And I hope you've enjoyed Must Jesus Bear the Cross Alone. And don't forget to get book number three with the chords and the lyrics for your iPad or your phone. And we'll see you next Sunday.